Good morning. Um, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while and make some videos and I never seem to get around to it so today I'm on the highway and kind of going about my errands and I figured why not kind of talk to you guys while I do that. So um, the topic at hand today is cookies <laughs> and um, you know when a cookie is a cookie and when a cookie is not a cookie. Um, so where I want to go with this is if your body is craving a warm chocolate chip cookie straight from the bakery, straight from the oven, whichever, go for it. Eat it. If it's just a cookie to you and it's just a sweet treat and you can do it, then by all means you should have your cookie and enjoy it. But for some of us, a cookie can be something completely different. Um, you, If you're feeling stressed out or overwhelmed, maybe you're emotional, maybe you just went through a fight with a friend, a breakup, um, stressed out about a bill, whatever it is, and you know the, the mail comes in and the bill's there and you're not sure how you're going to pay it, all of a sudden you have this overwhelming craving for just carbohydrates. <laughs> Don't eat the cookie if the cookie is going to turn into a package of cookies along with finishing off the ice cream that's in the freezer and then taking a trip to your local supermarket to buy more snacks. You should not eat that cookie. Just don't. Um, so this is something I want to talk about today. There is nothing wrong with having a snack and enjoying something. Um, you know, unless you're on a prep for a competition or you have an event coming up, like a wedding or a vacation, and you're trying to be really strict with, you know, your your macros and your calories and counting and whatnot. Having a cookie here or there is okay. It's okay to eat intuitively, like when you're hungry and um, you know you, you want to have something. Like go for it. Just have it. It's fine. Um, in moderation, all things in moderation are good. Um, the only time, like I said, that it becomes a problem is if it's more than just enjoying that treat, which happens. Um, that's something that I've often struggled with over the years at certain times sometimes I can just have a cookie or some ice cream and really enjoy it and other times it has been um, you know something that is just basically uh, comfort I guess and a lot of times a lot of people actually have a problem with this and it is because if you think about it how many times um, do you in your life hold on a second off how many times in your life have you associated food with happy thoughts um, so many times like we'll have uh, the holidays for instance and you're getting together with the people that you love if it's Christmas you're getting presents like you know birthdays you're celebrating someone's life you're also getting presents if it's your birthday um, so we are used to having like cakes and ice creams and pies and pastries and all these things and um, so we associate these things with happy times, um, vacations, you go out for ice cream, um, when you make warm cookies in the oven with your mom, whatever it is, um, it, so we associate these things with happy times, um, especially in America, it's just something that we do, we enjoy things around big tables of food and stuff, so basically... You know, it's just something in our brain that associates happiness with food. Um, we're also a, a country that, like, a lot of times is the oral fixation that pacifies people. And it starts with babies. I mean, you, you see a baby and they're crying. What's the first thing that most parents do? Because they have that that um, nurturing effect of, of being with the mother and stuff but we give them that that same thing we, we put a pacifier in their mouth or there's always just something that oral fixation so it's really kind of breaking that can help you get away from when you're struggling with things like that um, but like I said if you know if you can eat the cookie and it's just a cookie with a nice glass maybe some almond milk or something and, and just enjoy it eat your cookie have a bowl of ice cream enjoy some pizza a glass of wine with your friends whatever it is like 
just enjoy it. Life is short. Don't always restrict your calories. Don't always, you know, eat super squeaky clean. Like, it's okay. Your body can handle it. Your body will actually thank you for it. And it's actually, you usually do better if you don't deprive yourself. If, if you're having a craving for a cookie and it's not, you know, just being stressed out or whatever, you're just craving chocolate or something. If you don't allow yourself to have it, what's going to happen is you are going to end up wanting it so bad that by, you know, you can go a day, two, three days. By the time you get it, you're going to end up binge eating it and like eating way too much. And you're going to wish that you just have the cookie when the craving first hit. So, so I just want to have that little time with you. I'm about to be at my destination and get out and do some stuff. Um, but yeah, so if you're in the right frame of mind, eat your cookie, enjoy it and have a good day.